Well, a fine good afternoon, everyone. This is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. I have to say, this is my first day out since um, since I got sick on uh, the night of New Year's Eve. I did record New Year's Day of New Year's Eve, but uh, this is my first day out to record again. I'd say I'm 80% back to uh, what I had been prior to getting sick. So, eh. but here I am. I'm in South Burlington today at Resurrection Park. This, according to findagrave.com, is the largest Catholic cemetery in the state of Vermont. I believe it opened in 1942, if memory serves me correctly. And today I thought I would film the cremation garden. You'll note when you watch this video that there is a date and timestamp on here, which is pretty fantastic. Uh, someone had posted a comment uh, on one of my videos asking for a timestamp. I thought, oh, I completely forgot about those things. But you know, I couldn't just do that on my Samsung phone. No, no, I had to download a doggone app for that. So, and, and, I have to uh, videotape within said app. <sighs> so annoying. So, anyway, that's what I'm using right now is the app for that. So, this is a Roman Catholic uh, cemetery. I'm not sure the difference between a Catholic and Roman Catholic, but uh, I think Roman Catholic follows more rules, maybe. My viewers can tell me the difference. You can tell me, oh, Patricia, you don't know anything. I've heard that so many times. I should be a millionaire by now from the number of times I've heard that. But uh, anyway. Ooh, the zoom is pretty fast in this. If you want to see my photographs, you can always see them on Instagram, Traveling for History, or even Facebook, Traveling for History. When I'm in a cemetery, I do take a lot of uh, pictures. So, plus, minus, hard to say. I'm guessing these, these that don't have any spaces are available. It could be Whistling Dixie with that. But, uh... My guess is that's probably not far off the mark. I mean, it could be already purchased by someone else for when it is their time. I wouldn't know. You'd have to contact them for that information. Huh. I never know what I'm going to find when I visit a cemetery. Holy cow, I just never know. And that is not far off the mark. I can assure you of that. Holy cow. There was a Mr. McGrath who taught Actually, I don't know what he taught. I never had him. <laughs> but uh, in, uh, he taught at Edmonds Junior High School. Uh, and uh, was he at the high school? Wow, that's so long ago. I don't remember, to be honest. <clears throat> if anybody knows, please feel free to uh, say so. I wonder where he got the name Punk from. I wonder how long it stuck with him, too. You ever wonder that? Uh, I do. When I see nicknames. Isn't that an interesting first name? Solange. Solange H. Bocage. Wow, that is a beautiful name. 
when I see the name Quinlan, I think of Charlotte, um, Vermont. There's um, a covered bridge um, named Quinlan, a Quinlan uh, covered bridge, and um, I found the graves. They're at, they're buried at um, Our Lady of Mount Carmel Catholic Church, also in Charlotte. This makes me wonder. Anyway. All right. There's no one at the top here. I always find it interesting if people leave mementos. I've seen that a lot. And it's nice to be back in the cemetery. I know this seems like an odd thing to say, I suppose, but uh, but I just uh, I just like a cemetery. What can I say? No one's buried at the top of that one either. Oh, and some uh, some more mementos left here. I was just thinking how Ida is such an old-fashioned name, and certainly she was born in 1902, and lived to see 95 years of age. I hope she was in good health at the end there, because it just makes uh, life that much easier. Buried at the top on this side. What's this right here? Love is the best gift of all. <laughs> I wonder if the flag uh, means that they were veterans. Just makes you wonder. That's all. It's the only person in this section right here. Isn't that lovely? That box right there. Heaven and nature sing. Again, no one's buried at the top. Isn't that lovely? A little Merry Christmas. Uh, a 
fake plant. I mean, no plant is going to survive out here today. It's, uh, I think the temperature is 24 Fahrenheit, but it feels like 12 above. Yeah, that is not warm. I love this sentiment, though. To live in hearts we leave behind is not to die. Yeah. There's a lot to be said about that. To be remembered. I think that's what most humans want. We want to be remembered. I have a couple of people here. I love this tasteful uh, rendering, by the way. Uh, this card is wrapped in plastic, like a saran wrap. I wonder what the uh, sanitary's um, regulations are on stuff like this. Because they've clearly been here. It's salted and shoveled. Just, just wondering aloud. I think it's lovely to see. Oh, you have someone buried up top there. Wow, 64 and died in 2019. Wow, 54 years old. I'm sorry. That, uh, that is young. No one at the top. And she is alone in her area, in her tier, if you will. See, some folks are still with us, which is good. Uh, but a few of these folks are still with us. That's good. Interesting that his birth date is not on here. I wonder if he's concerned about identity theft. I think about stuff like that. Do you? Again, this upper tier is empty, waiting use. Actually, I think maybe it was just over here. <laughs> Let me see. Yes, yeah, so I was here. Oh, I was here already. Well, duh. <laughs> oh, my apologies. Come the door now. What can I say? I was already over here. So where do I need to go? I think... Um... Yes, I think over this way. Holy cow. Nope, I already recorded over here. Well... That was all of the cremation garden. Holy cow. Whew. Oh, but here we go. Here's a, a concrete bench. In honor and memory of Jeffrey John Jackson, Grand Knight Council, 7525. If it didn't have snow on it, I would consider sitting on it. But uh, anyway, this is Patricia. Uh, yeah, I think I'll 
and is here. So this is Patricia, and uh, I'm traveling for history. So thanks so much for coming along with me today. I would ask that you subscribe to my channel, by the way. This morning I had 118 subscribers, and now we have 117. Someone left me! So, if you're enjoying my content, though, please subscribe. And then click on the notifications bell, and you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand shiny new video just for you. And until I see you again, which will be tomorrow, you have a great evening. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a great night. Bye.